Okay, we got another 1973 cuckoo clock. Um, this is Debbie's. And it's a little different from the one that I had. But, um, still in pretty rough shape. Got a part of a bellow here. We got a um, slightly bent pendulum. <laughs> the weight, of course. The headboard, which is in good shape. Nothing to worry about there. But the main box. movement, quite frankly, looks in decent shape. It doesn't have nowhere near the rust that mine did, but um, unfortunately the bellows are what's the hard part here. So. The material on that. Nah, I was going to say I might not have to replace that, but I believe I see right there. Right there. Behind the wire. It's a little rip. Yep, that's a rip. So, I think all I'm going to do on this one is, um, hmm, since the movement is in such good shape, I don't think I'm going to pull it out of there. I'll oil it up. I'll reconnect everything. I think the only thing I'm going to do is uh, remove the bellows to put some new paper on them. Put her back together and see if it'll cuckoo. Uh, that's it for right now. Okay, as I was, um just looking this over, I realized that the chain is uh, off the uh, little gear in there that spins around for keeping time. So it's just going to be too hard to get to to take and put back on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the front face plate off, and uh, hopefully that'll free up some. Uh, visibility that I'm looking for so I can put the chain back on. I'm not messing with it's it's supposed to be glued on it was a little loose I'm just gonna uh, re-glue it when the time comes so okay let me uh, sit here and just steer it over and figure out the next step okay we're gonna <clears throat> try to 
heat up the glue underneath these bellows and get them taken off tonight. easy to see when I pointed this out earlier but really the bellow is in really good shape if it were not for this little itty bitty let me see if I can zoom in for you um, you can probably see it now right there There's a little bit of a rip in there. Tiny, but enough to take and make things not work proper. Okay, so let's see here. So. I'll be getting some acetone out. We're going to clean up the glue that's left on these. Yeah. And then um, this is the bell I took off. We'll have to take and remove this paper, even on the top. And this is the first one that came off. And, uh, Get the paper removed off of it. We'll take and put some new paper on it. I'll uh, give it a coat of linseed oil to take and freshen it up a little bit, oil the movement, and put it back together. Sounds so quick and easy. I did do the chain the other night, put it through the ultrasonic cleaner, and it did come out a little, a little nicer. It was very dark. But now, as you can see, it's probably easier to see in there. Um, it, it cleaned up, cleaned up fairly nice. Okay, acetone, <coughs> nail polish remover. All right.
I think that's going to be it for tonight. I've got a couple other things i got to do. Um, I do want to see if I can I don't know, somehow clean this wire up a little bit to get the surface rust off. I don't know if I can or not. We'll give that a shot. I'll think of something, maybe a little steel wool, but that's going to be difficult because it's so small. But i got that one to do tomorrow, and I have... The bellow paper already because I had when I bought for mine I bought actually two sets so I don't have to order nothing. Um, I gotta put a few things away so that is gonna be it for tonight's work. Till next time. Okay, so we're gonna pick up with the other bellow getting it cleaned up. That's the first one. So we're gonna try and do this so I don't have to take a rip any of the paper off the top because they're still looking pretty good. Uh, this one, I was fiddling with it and it already came apart, but that's okay because the paper's got to come off. So no big deal, really.
That'll do it for right now. Okay, I'll explain what I'm going to do, and then I'll be quiet here. Um, I'm going to start to put the bellows back together. I've got the hinges on. All I'm going to do tonight is get the front piece glued on on the top half. And then once that's set in place so it doesn't move around, I'm hoping that makes it easier for me to take and then do the bottom section. And then we'll do the sides. So that's what my objective is. So we are back and we are going to get these creased and uh, just anchor them together, clamp them down a little bit so that um, it has time to form.
until I'm ready to mount these back up. That's what we'll do with these. I'll just take and uh, stay clamped up like that so that crease becomes more permanent. I'll just put them up there. So I'd like to take and get some linseed oil on this and clean this up a little bit. But I gotta be careful that I don't get it on the movement because I'm not pulling the movement out. So let me see where the linseed oil is at. Okay, let's give this a shot. Uh, next thing I'll do is I'll put the bellows back in. That'll be it for right now. So we're going to see if we can get the chain threaded back in there and um, just put it up on the wall and make sure it runs. I never did stop to see if it ran before we started all this. Okay, so that's good enough for that for the moment. Let me find a place to hang it up. I'm sorry you didn't get to see that. Camera's out of view, but it is back on there. Let me see what I can come up with for a place to hang it now. Okay, I've got it hanging on the wall, um, but I can't take this camera with me, so we're going to cut this one off. I'll capture it on the phone, and we'll show it at least running for the moment, and we'll go from there. So, this may look like my clock when I originally tested it for running. It's not. It's yours, Debbie. I'm just going to let that run for a while and see how it does. I can't let it run too long because... Down below is a mirror, and I don't want the weight to hit the mirror. So, 
We'll let this run for about an hour or two, just to make sure. Still ticking. Okay. Um, I've taken it off the wall. I've proven that it will run. It ran all night. So I'm going to get ready to put the bellows back on and so that the chain, I don't know if I can get that close up to see. So as you see the chain, you find some of the point with. So as you see the chain goes on the little sprocket right up in here, and this is where it pulls on this wheel inside there. You really can't see it, but it goes through these here. What I'm going to do, you know, do this for two purposes. While I'm working on the chain will slide up and fall off. Or two, when I ship it back, that uh, the shifting in the box will still keep the chain on that little sprocket uh, so it can uh, be ready to go to put on the wall and run again. And the way I'm going to do that is... I'm going to take this little piece of wire and I'm going to take and run it through the chain and just twist it so that the tension is there that it can't fall back off. to do is untwist it and pull it back out and you can untwist the yellow and the blue wire and take them out one at a time or both at the same time or cut the wire in half and take it off one half or the other just whichever way the wire comes off they're the easiest. Messed up. Not paying attention when I put the bellow material on. And yep, I put it on backwards. Mm -mm -mm. So, anyways, this is the way they face us the back. And is the, the power goes around and lifts this arm and that is attached to the movement down here so this lifts this bellow when it's attached to this wire and the back should open and close and I did it backwards so ah, instead of opening on this end it should be opening on this end. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So. 
Okay, minor setback. I'll have to order some more paper and redo this. Gosh, that's stupid. Okay. That's it. So uh, we're back with the final reassembly here. I started recording and um, we just had problems. So we didn't get all the work on camera. But anyways, after redoing the bellows and putting the material on in the proper direction, <clears throat> we're back together. I've got them glued down. Those were actually harder to glue down than the first one I did. It was just really difficult getting them aligned, and I'm crossing my fingers on that. Uh, the front decoration just didn't want to stay on, so I had to add a nail to the front of that to get it to stay put. But I'm going to let the glue dry because I just finished gluing those up. Um, went ahead and got a new pendulum. Uh, I did have this on the wall running for a couple days, adjusting it to get where it's keeping pretty accurate time. So if you look at the pendulum where it is right now, uh, that's pretty much where it needs to be. That still may be running about a minute to two fast in a 12-hour period. If you want to try to take and get it to slow down more, you lower the little disc. It just slides. But do a little bit at a time because it's so close right now. But to slow it down, the time down, or excuse me, to slow it down from when the clock's running fast to slow it down, you move the pendulum down. If the clock, clock is running slow, you slide it up, and that makes the pendulum go faster. So up is faster, down is slower. So that's that. Um, once this dries overnight, I'm going to go ahead and put it back up on the wall and uh, we'll let it run for a day or two. Plus, I want to show you how to make sure that it's level because if it's not level, um, it's not going to take and run. And you'll tell by listening to it, you'll hear the tick-tock. When it's not level, you'll hear tick-tock, tick-tock. What you want to get is an even tick-tock, tick tock talk so if you have a little level handy that's the easiest way you get it on the wall put that up against the bottom and you can see how level it is if you don't have a level what I would suggest doing is just tilting it a little bit one way or the other just angle it a little bit and see if it gets better or worse if it gets worse you're going in the wrong direction if it gets better just keep going until you get to that tick tock tick talk tick talk okay so that'll be it for now I'm gonna let this dry overnight uh, we'll get this up on the wall hopefully tomorrow hopefully I'll get all that on camera show you how I level it out and we'll see how it keeps time uh, going forward from there so I'm gonna provide a few troubleshooting steps to take because these things are just picky. So I got it oiled and everything. I was I had it run all night. It did okay. But the best you're gonna get is a chirp. Um, so and these they just don't go down in the way you would like for a cuckoo and that's all mine did so I'm probably not going to have much more luck but anyways if you have a problem where it seems like the hands won't turn so you get this and you feel a lot of resistance it just doesn't want to turn what is most likely happening is this right here is stuck if not right here then right here, the little piece that goes under the birdie would probably get back here and can't get back in front. So if you lift it up, it'll probably fall right back in. But if you see that little square piece, it needs to be moved, it needs to be towards the front 
underneath the building. If he falls behind the little circ half circle here, I'm sorry, I can't see. If he falls back down here, that will cause resistance also. So um, that's the only thing you'll run into as far as if you feel resistance that the hands don't want to turn. So you see how the little propeller really works. Once this is up on the wall, you are going to put the pendulum on first. The pendulum. Let's see if I can get the light right for you. Okay, the pendulum goes right on this right here. And it just hooks on there. And you'll see the other end of the pendulum. So it goes up here. And just hooks on there. Once you got the pendulum on, then we'll put the weight on. We'll do that later. So get this here, got. So there we go. So we got those down. Um, one way to tell if you're having a sticking problem because the hands don't want to turn is while this is on the wall, you can just reach up behind there. Let me get the. What's right here? You can get up here now. That don't pay attention to that right now. But what you would feel is you just touch this and you can feel like, oh, it doesn't want to go down. At that point, you either look at the little square thing or this is bound up somehow. And sometimes just lifting it up, and then uh, I can't do it with both hands, but uh, lifting up, moving your hands a little bit, the big hand, and then letting go, and it gets it past that point. So all I did was lift up, with my uh, index finger on the front on the big hand, I'm making the hands turn, which makes the propeller turn, and that would free that up. And eventually, if these are down here, fairly smooth, you're okay. Um, uh, I think that's it for here. Let me um, pause the video and I'm get it up on the wall. I can't get my uh, other camera close enough to help you, help you see this. So I'm going to get up here and uh, do this on my phone. And I'm going to put the pendulum. I don't know if I can do this watching it through the camera. Uh, the pendulum. Okay. I'm going to have to set the phone down to do this. I, I, I can't do it with one hand. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, I've got the pendulum hooked on there. So the next thing we're going to do is put the... Um, actually, the next thing I'm going to do is try and level it up a little. Okay, unfortunately it takes... I just can't level it and hold this camera at the same time, the phone at the same time. But anyways, you can always just... you don't have to have a level. You can eye it up. You'll see it's fairly level. And if you remember, I told you you're going to want to listen for the even tick tock, tick tock. So let me get the uh, weight on. The weight will go on this right here. And it's just going to hook on. It's just going to hook on there. I'll show you in a second. So there we go. The weight is hanging on there. I'm going to wind it up here in a second and give it a little tick and let's see if we can get it going. Okay, so I got the time set. I got an even tick tock. I can't get um, your tick tock, but it should sound the same if you listen to this one. Let me see if I can go back to the other camera. Forgot one more thing, your headboard. So those two little things right there are for your headboard. And all that is is those two little nails rest in that spot right there. And so there you go, the headboard's on. Um, I'm just going to let it run all night. Hopefully it does okay, and then I'll box it up and send it back to you. That'll do this for now.
So we've been running for a little over 24 hours. Everything seems to be running smooth as it should. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it boxed up tonight and get it into the mail uh, either tomorrow or Friday. Uh, it'll be on its way back to you soon.